The production and sale of naturally grown rare breed meat is the aim of Fort Hill Farm Tandragi, the Gracie family's 80-acre County Armagh farm. Kenny and Jennifer Gracie's long-horned cattle and belted galloways are the only commercial herds of any size of their particular breeds in Ireland. Their big advantage lies in the way the rare beef is reared and marketed. It's naturally produced. We're sowing no fertiliser now on our grassland. We have no need to. Um, we have found that with the, previously the inputs were just spiralling out of control. We find ourselves very, very fortunate today that we have the traditional breed of animal because with today's feed prices, I don't know how men are surviving. The Longhorn breed's origins go back into the mists of time, but apparently top chefs are now clamouring for its meat. Its popularity has been confirmed by Kenny through his public promotions. Now we go along to various exhibitions and various shows, big shows and festivals, take along our stand and we sell our meat at those. Uh, we do tasters and that way we promote our meat and people get a taste of it and they come back for more. Jennifer has a special interest in rearing saddleback pigs and has been very successful in showing them. She's very keen to preserve what she considers to be valuable food producing bloodlines. Some of the ones that I've got at the moment, uh, there's only two in the world, some there's only nine. Uh, although now that's the 2005 survey, they're in the process of doing another one now. So hopefully the numbers have gone up a wee bit. The Gracies produce both Saddleback and Gloucester Old Spot pigs and they're considered to be big advantages as healthy outdoor hardy pigs but also stress-free indoors. But what are the flavour attractions for the consumer? They're a slower maturing pig, therefore uh, there's more flavour. Um, they are reared outdoors, again, more flavour. Um, the downside is they're a fatty pig, so that they can withstand the temperature changes. Um, some people like that, some people don't, but um, we dry cure the bacon and the gammons the old-fashioned way. Um, so it's a salt rub on the skin, it's not injected with brine or anything. Um, a lot of people like it. Kenny and Jennifer have just opened a farm shop which is already proving to be a big hit. Their meat is all butchered on the premises and displayed and sold in the shop, the perfect way to promote their healthy home reared special meat. But it's also a way of giving other local home produced speciality foods a market outlet, a way of supporting other producers. They can um, set it up on their shelf uh, uh, totally for them and we'll sell it for them if they want to give us some commission for doing so, we'll take it, surely, but that's not our point. We want to help those people in the local community because farming has just, uh, well, farming has gone out the window. The whole countryside, in my, in my view, is decimated, and that's very unfortunate. And I want to go back to the old traditional way of life where virtually farmer, every farmer helps each other out and encourages each other.